So in this week's Imara's training session, we will talk about advanced SPART and uh, service analysis. Uh, last session, we already talked about the basic SPART and the service creation, how to create the SPART and the service using the automatic creation wizard. And uh, we went through the tab or the functions in SPART and services, how to check the statistic, how to export the statistic, how to change the color, etc. On this one, we will talk about uh, different ways to analyze the image data for some applications, as mainly for the colocalization between sparse bus or sparse service or service service, and some manual service drawing functions. I'm Arsen from Imara's team as a sales and application specialist covered uh, Austra Australia. If you have any questions related to Imara's support, you can email directly through this email address at the button. Today's learning objectives. First, I will try to introduce how to measure object-based localization basically between spot, spots and the surfaces. And I will introduce how to use the reference frame to get a new position statistic based on a reference points, not the origin of the uh, axis. Lastly, I will introduce how to draw surface manually. This is quite useful in many different applications, especially if you want to create a freehand RI in the 3D space, or if we can use the max functions to keep or remove some components we want or we don't want. So I will start from introducing the spot, the, the colocalization part. So before I start in Mars, I can try to present the two examples of using object-based localization in the, in the research topic. First is about the uh, ethanol uh, effect on the, uh, the neuron system. So basically, uh, this, in this research, the researchers try to model, model the uh, or analyze, uh, quant quantify the number of these uh, receptors uh, present in the, the neural system. So they try to use the spot to present the number of the receptors and the surfaces to model the neural fiber and to try to measure or analyze the colocalization between these uh, spot and the surfaces for the receptor proteins and the neuron fiber to see if there is any change in the density or change in the number regarding the colocalization between different groups. So this is one example. Another example is using uh, surface colocalization, surface to surface colocalization to see if there is any difference between uh, AML patient, leukemia patients, and uh, normal, normal uh, people. The contact area between the blood vessels and the bones is modeled by using the service functions and the service service colocalization in, in Mars. So these pink areas you can see on the in the picture is the colocalization area between the blood vessel and the bones. And there is a significant uh, low, low contact area volume in leukemia patients from this research using Maris. You can get this result. So this is, these are uh, some examples of using this uh, object-based colocalization. Now I'm going to switch to Imaris and show you how, where, how, how you can use these functions in Imaris. 
Okay, so first I want to introduce is spot spot colocalization using maybe this example. So these images I'm using are all from uh, default demo images installed together with Imaris. So you can also practice it if you like using the Imaris on your system. So to be able to do the spot colocalization, I will need at least uh, two spots. So here from this cell image, you can see I have different standings, but now I'm going to focus on the red and the white color, which is kinetic of course and the dynectin. You can see I have red and the white standing here. And let's say if we want to not only analyze the numbers of kinetic cores and the dynectin, but also we want to understand how many of them are actually colocalized. Or even if we want to study like how many of them are actually within a specific distance, then in this kind of in this case we our applications we can try to use spot spot colocalization. So first, we have to create spots for each color. So this automatic spot creation, we already went through in uh, last week. So I will now focus on these uh, steps. I will just go through quickly. So channel one, and we need the size. So here I'm going to measure the size of this red color is about 0 0.3. So I will use 0 0.4. And I can see a bit of the Z elongation. So I will try to use these numbers, slightly small numbers, maybe too small. So maybe double the XY size. Okay, so maybe even larger. Okay, looks good. And we can adjust the threshold to make more detection like this. So finish. Then we can rename this to, I'm just going to use the color, so red. Then we already can see numbers, total numbers here. So the red standing and then we can change the color. So next is for the white color. Okay, so we need to do again spots. Okay, uncheck this one. Okay, so dynectin and measure the size again. It's about the same size actually. 0.4. Mm, let me try these default numbers. Okay, it's not looking so good. 1.2. Hmm. 1.5. 0 0.5. Okay, looks about it. So let's say we only I only have maybe more. Okay like this detection, six detection in the white color. So white. All right, so now we can see these two spots on the screen and how to measure the colocalization. Uh, in Imaris, we have two ways to measure this colocalization based on the spot creation. Uh, the default way, or the easiest way is to enable this shortest distance calculation. So when I do the spots, you can see there is an option already here. So if you want to get this statistic at the beginning, after you finish the automatic creation, you can just check it in the first step. And in the end, you will be able to see the result. Uh, usually we don't enable this 
unless we need it because this will take some time to calculate and depends on the complexity of your images it may take longer time if you, you check this so if we i didn't enable this in the beginning i can always go back the object go back to the object and under the edit tab you can always enable this shortest distance calculation this shortest distance calculation we also mentioned uh, briefly in last week's training this is to calculate the shortest distance between the objects it can be spot to spot or spot to surface or surface to surface so once i enable these options i can go to one of the spots and i can go to the statistic tab in the detail you can see the shortest distance to spot white spot white and if you didn't see this option uh, this statistic in this list you can try to go to the preferences and to see if it is enabled so shortest distance to spot and the service just make sure the ones you want to measure is checked so you can see on uh, in the list All right so how to do the filters then we can go to this uh, filter tab and add the filters choose the shortest distance to spot white then here we can disable the minimum this is based on the distance so we turn off the minimum and the turn on the maximum to set it to zero set it to zero so the red spots the distance uh minimum distance from the this number to zero will be uh, filtered out so let me see if there is any so looks like i, I don't have any so let me try it again yeah, there should be some but maybe it's not because of the resolution okay let me see if i can filter them out here here you may want to use uh, different numbers based on the uh, size of your spot so for example if my spot size is very big then i can probably use the number match to my spot size in order to detect the contact of the boundaries of the spot so basically this distance is from center to center from center to center so it depends on the diameter the, the size of your spot you may want to use the uh, average number between the two spots in order to make sure the distance this shortest distance between center to center equal to the shortest distance of the i mean the uh, equal to the to represent the contact between two spots so here uh, let me just use the visualized measurements so it looks like maybe the numbers below to one okay so maybe 0 0.5 0 0.5 like this can represent the colocalization or contact between or overlap the position between two spots so after i set this threshold i can either uh, duplicate this to another group or i can just uh, label use the label we mentioned uh, last week to label the spots we have to we have filtered out using these labels uh, here i'm just going to uh, duplicate the selection to the new spot so here as you can see we have 
filter out the red spot, which is colocalized with the white spots here. And we also have the numbers here, numbers here, five. And this total is 40. So you can make the calculation of the percentage if you that is what you are aiming for. Uh, to be able to export this value together, we can use this add new group and we can put all these spots into this group. And under the group object, if you go to statistic, you will be able to see all the all the statistic with the object names. So you when you export it to the Excel sheet, you can know which one are uh, represented for which ones. It's represented for which ones, like this. For the white ones, you can do the same thing. Add a distance, shortest distance to spot red, then turn off. Okay, then turn on. Turn on the maximum. Okay, so it looks like everyone except, hmm. I think everyone except this one. So you can duplicate again. So now we have total four spots. Original red, original white, red, colloc white, white, colloc red then you can rename it as well. Like this. So when you export it, you will see these names correctly. Okay, so this is one way in Imaris to do the spot to spot colocalization. This function we use is called the shortest distance calculation. This is the new statistic only from 9.5. So if you have a 9.3 or before a previous version, you don't have this default function to use. Then back to lab time, we use an extension module to measure this spot, spot colocalization, which I am going to show you. So let me put, put back these two original spots and delete this one. So if you don't have the extension, uh, you don't have this default shortest distance calculation, we do have an extension called uh, spot spot colocalization under the image processing and spot functions. Here you can see a lot of modules in this image processing menu. This module is called the extension modules XT. Uh, we need a, a XT license in your Imaris to be able to run this extension modules. So we will probably have another training session to talk about these extension modules. But basically these modules are created in, in MATLAB and by connecting MATLAB to Imaris, we will be able to run some uh, customized processing or analysis using the functions in MATLAB, then send the data back to Imaris for rendering or for the statistic measurements. So here on the spot functions, we can find these colocalized spots, colocalized spot. So if I click, you can see MATLAB is running in the background. Then this menu will pop up to ask you to select two spots to colocalize. So here I have two red and white, so I just select these two and click OK. 
then you have to put a distance distance as a threshold. So here as the threshold we set previously, we can put a distance which maybe the minimum should be equal to the sum of the diameters of your two spots. So I mean, maybe I just use 0 0.5. Okay, so now it automatically calculate the distance for each spot pair spots and uh, give you this group. So let me check if 0 0.5 is good. Yep, so I have red collocated with white and non-collocated and also white collocated and non-collocated. So it quite match the result, the previous result. So here you already uh, group the result for you. So you can just go to this group and uh, export this uh, statistic here. Okay, so that is another way to do uh, sparse spot colorization in Maris using the extension modules, but you will have to have this extension license to be able to use these functions. And uh, if you don't have MATLAB, on the same PC, we can install a small program called MATLAB Compiler Runtime, then you will be able to run this extension module as well. Okay, so that is spot-spot colocalization.